the first ever Chick-fil-A fish sandwich. If you've been following our channel, you know one of our favorite ways to cook fish is the fish fillet sandwich. This might be the greatest catch and cook of all time. What started as a simple way to feel connected to home quickly turned into our most viral creation. Hundreds of you from around the world sent us pictures of your sandwiches using all varieties of fresh and saltwater fish. Some of you even said it was better than the real thing. But until now, we could never know for sure. Hawaii's first Chick-fil-A restaurant is opening next month. The chain known mostly for its chicken sandwiches is set to open its first Hawaii store on Maui on September 1st. We're going to Maui for Chick-fil-A and guys, we're finally gonna find out who makes the better fish fillet sandwich. To do that, we've gotta to fly to Maui, find some fish, cook it all up, and finally find out which is better. You guys got a busy day plan today? Yes. Non-stop back and forth to Maui? Delivering half of Big Island over there for Chick-fil-A? Right, <laughs> exactly. We're here! I've never been to Maui and it's hard to believe I'm coming here just for a sandwich. It's gonna be worth it. <laughs> Yeah, First step to the Chick-fil-A sandwich is we gotta go out here and we gotta find some fish. Now, we're not being super picky today because once we marinate this fish in pickle juice and deep fry it, they're all kind of fantastic, but we do need stuff that we can fillet. So that means a bigger fish that is a little bit harder to find out here in Hawaii. So we're looking for big opelicalas, any kind of omilus. There's supposed to be a lot of yellow spots here, and most importantly, the uku. So we're gonna go out here, see where Sky takes us, and see what we can find. Nice bumpy ride there, but we finally got here, and guys, the water looks awesome. I'm gonna finish suiting up, and we're gonna see you guys in the water. Before we can go spearfishing in Maui, I've gotta tell you that this video is sponsored by the Division of Aquatic Resources. They asked me to help spread the word about their Holomua talk story session for Maui occurring three times this month. These sessions will be held live on Maui between Friday, October 28th, and Sunday, October 30th. The point of these live sessions is to discuss with the public what type of rules and regulations will work best to manage the unique marine resources of Hawaii. They wanna hear from you, the people who are actually out there gathering your food from the ocean about the best ways to maintain this resource for generations. For a Floridian like me, coming out here to Hawaii and finding almost no fishing rules was really shocking. In Florida, there are way more people fishing and diving, but there are still plenty of fish. And I truly believe that's because our state manages the fisheries well. It blows my mind that I can still go offshore to a shipwreck and find, you know, 10, 20 different boats that are all gonna fish or dive that wreck in a single day, every single day, all year long, and I can still dive down and shoot a 20 pound legal fish. That's because the Florida Fishing Game does a great job of regulating our fishery. And while I definitely don't always agree with the rules that they've come up with, I think it's incredible that Hawaii is giving you the chance to help them come up with rules that are gonna work best for what we what we all really want, which is to still have fish for generations to come. This is your chance to have your voice heard, to call in and speak your piece, or at least listen and help them hear from you guys who are actually out there every single day, help them create rules that are gonna do exactly what we all want. I'll put all the registration links down below, the times of those meetings and how to register for them. Guys, do me a favor, click in over there, Go have your voice heard and help these guys develop rules that are gonna be good for all of us. Now, we'll see you back in the water in Maui. So today was gonna to be a little bit different experience than my normal day out spearfishing. You know, most of the time I'm out there, I'm kind of looking for unique stuff or trophies, or you know, just kind of filming my day, having a blast and being super selective. But today I needed meat. I needed fish that I could fillet up and turn into those Chick-fil-A sandwiches and feed an indetermined amount of people. So Sky started us off in a couple different types of zones. Some of those, you know, reef structure areas, and then I ended up kind of out here in this like weird grassland type zone and I've actually had a lot of success in this stuff before you know it looks really barren from the top but you get down here and there's this grass holds life and I've caught some big ukus out here before but not today from there we moved into like a typical coral reef structure area and I'm not gonna lie, 
I was a little bit desperate. Like I was, I was, I didn't know what I was gonna see. I knew that the wind was up. I knew that we only had a couple hours. I just got off the airplane. I knew that I had to flay up all these fish, get to the parking lot, set everything up. I had a lot to do. So I was, I was kind of nervous, but I'm used to being pretty picky down there. So like, I'm not looking at big opalicalas and uhus typically is like my first choice. But today I was like, I need to reframe and I need to go after these when I see them. So I was pretty upset when I kind of extended on that uhu last second and he just dipped out of there and was gone. Next zone, Sky took us to this really cool underwater tank. And when I got down here to the bottom, it definitely looked promising and there was a really nice yellow spot papio, which was one of my targets for the day. It was just kind of cruising around. But again, it wasn't like a monster yellow spot. It was just a shootable yellow spot. So it wasn't like my first instinct of like, ooh, cool, get it. It was more like, oh, we'll wait and see if it kind of comes around and then I'll look and see if there's any ukus around. But for whatever reason, that yellow spot came through and was gone and I was like oh I screwed up there was that was there was five sandwiches right there that just swam off so definitely got to work harder to not make mistakes like that next drop I landed again beside the tank and I wasn't expecting a whole lot usually a spot this small if you don't see that fish on the first drop you're not going to see it on any later subsequent drops but when I got down here at the bottom an uku just kind of cruising in from far away not a giant by any means but definitely a shooter on this day managed to get a perfect stone shot with that new heavy spear gun that I'm absolutely in love with and managed to land my first set of uku fish fillet sandwiches From there, we ended up on kind of a deeper zone that was definitely more my style. On the way down, big opalicalas everywhere. These are all Polanis, and honestly, I would take any of this stuff to make some sandwiches with. So I was stoked when we first showed up there. I was like, man, this has got all my sandwiches right here. I can kind of relax a little bit, take my time, and maybe try and get some of those better quality fish, get some of those moos, get some of those ukus. And when I got down here to the bottom, I saw both of those things. There was an uku kind of cruise, and I don't think you can see it on the camera, and then there were some really, really nice moves. Now, this is about a 100 foot drop, so I don't have like a ton of time down here, but I wanna make sure that I know my, I know my, I'm running out of time, so I wanna make sure that every drop I do here, I'm coming up with one of these fish, because each one of these palanis, each one of these moo can feed, you know, like 10, 12 fish fillet sandwiches. So I know the pressure's on, and I gotta make this happen. Another perfect shot with the heavy spear gun. Drilled this thing, stud moo, and was on my way to the surface. I tend to measure my days in mistakes, not in successes, because the successes are really just about how many, the better spots you dive, or you know whatever kind of random opportunities present themselves. Whereas the mistakes are really what differentiate between like how well you did that day as a diver. So. This is one of those mistakes that really makes me unhappy. I got down here at the bottom, I had a really nice little cavern I was kind of tucked up against. I was in a beautiful shadow, and there he is, beautiful Uku, the fish that I really, really need this trip coming in. Mm -hmm. And again, I don't know if I could have done much differently, but I think I extended right here just a little bit early and he backed off. And I don't know if I should have done a lunge there for, you know, try and get a long shot, but I tucked back in hoping that he would kind of come back around and come into me. I knew I still had a little bit of time down here. Again, this is like a 100 foot dive, but the thing just kept on going. Didn't give me another pass, which just made me really, really upset. I can remember exactly how I felt down here on the bottom. I'm like, oh my God, that was the fish that I needed. And then I was kind of upset and I was like, do I take one of these Apelicalos or Pawanis or Moos? And then I was like, it's too late. I just gotta go to the top. I spent all my time and I gotta make this happen next drop. So I knew time was really running out. The girls were kind of seasick, everybody wanted to leave. I knew I had a lot more stuff to do this day. And I was like, whatever I do, I am not leaving the bottom without an Apelokala. That's it, these things are huge. I can make like 30 Chick-fil-A sandwiches with each one of these things. I was like, it has to happen. So I get down here to the bottom. And again, I think I saw an Uku on this drop. I saw an Uku pretty much every drop at this location. But I was like, no, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not waiting for you. You can see the beautiful moves out there to the right. They're down there, but I'm like, unless that uku comes really, really close and makes this happen, I'm, I'm taking the big opalicala and I'm going up because because it has to happen right now. We're down to the wire. You can see, I don't know when this has ever happened, but beautiful move back there in the distance. And I'm like, no, you got to pass on you. I'm going to see if I can get one of those big opalicalas. 
You can see finally the big one comes within range right here and I'm like, yep, this will do. Coming home with me, fish sandwiches on the way. You can see the wind line is coming in pretty bad. What do you mean, we gotta leave? That's why, I don't know, if the girls are done. No, 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 we need two more pelicalas. Swim your ass to the bottom, shoot one of those at pelicalas. The wind's okay. So that interaction right there is where I've really screwed up this day. Naya was in the boat, she's from there, grew up out here, kind of knows about the notorious Maui winds that kind of come out of nowhere. And I'd heard of them before, but I didn't really, I was like, whatever. And they're both, Sam and Naya are on the boat and they're like, we gotta go, we gotta go. I can see the wind coming. And I'm like, it looks fine. What are you talking about? Like, I need one more Opelikala, but we gotta go down here, get one more Opelikala each, and then I have plenty of food to feed as many people as possibly show up. So I pushed them a little bit and I was like, let me just do one more quick dive. I'm going to the bottom. I'm not coming back with an Opelikala. And I did, I went down, I got my fish, and then I got to the surface and it was really, really gnarly, guys. Small boat, big waves, notorious Maui winds. I heard Maui gets windy quick. What happened? Luckily, Sky and Naya had us covered, really navigated home in kind of dangerous conditions. We dropped the girls off at the beach. It was a little gnarly, but we made it and we're on our way to Chick-fil-A. Well guys, I gotta tell you, the diving here on Maui was pretty epic. I mean, that spot we went to, like 105, absolutely beautiful diving. Every single time I got to the bottom there, saw some ukus out there in the distance, there were plenty of moo around, big opalicalas, but out of nowhere, the gnarliest wind I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, I've, I don't think I've ever been on the boat and just been stunned by this level of like wind that came out of nowhere. And I've expected, I've kind of like, I've heard of that on Maui, but I've definitely never seen it before. And it kicked our butt, guys. We just barely kind of made it back. It was a serious journey there. We had to drop the girls off at a different beach and then come back and get them. So we're running a little bit late for this 5.30 catch and cook at Chick-fil-A, but I'm gonna fillet up all these fish. It was very much kind of what I expected. Good filletable fish. I'm gonna make a whole lot of sandwiches out of these. Two giant opelicalas, one marginal small uku, and a nice size moo. <laughs> Sky, how do we feel about these fish? <laughs> well, they freaking hurt, that's for sure. <laughs> So freaking sock me right in the, these ones right here are the worst ones. Oh my God, I had no idea. I've been afraid of these my whole life. Yeah, these things, but. But these, these got me and got him. Yeah, got him in the foot, got me right in the top of the hand. But it's okay, we got revenge now. Yep. We're gonna turn you into <laughs> some Chick-fil-A sandwiches. And you're gonna show me a new way to fillet this, huh? We're gonna, you, you're saying yeah, we're so, gonna pull the skin off. Yeah, we're gonna pull the skin off. These ones work good. Like, this is usually what I do with like mahis and stuff like that. Okay. You can do the same with these. Oh! Just gone. Easy. No meat loss. No, that was sick. Skin. Yeah. You learn something new good. every day. Yeah. For a true test of who makes a better fish sandwich, we needed some unbiased judges. So we invited anybody in Maui to come meet us at the grand opening of Chick-fil-A for a fish fry in the parking lot. I don't know, I think I think they, I think pretty going by looks, I think that Ryan sauce is gonna, is gonna take it. If we're, looking, if we're going by just looks alone. Like what, like a whole nugget? Yeah, like a whole, nugget, bro. Whatever. like a whole ass nugget? That one's All the right. biggest one, so just do it. All right, Get it. I'm just gonna do this. Yeah. Yeah. And sauce me. Oh yeah, you getting that? Oh yeah, look at that technique right there. That, that's the original, yeah. All right. You do you right here, get in there. All right, so. Let's... I'd say this one definitely still looks amazing. Like this one doesn't even compare. It's, right. it's gonna be a different level. Let's you know? see. You got, you got fish and you got Let's chicken. See. All right, all right, we're moving in. All right. <laughs> Get the Ooh. sauce on the the Ooh. stash too. You need, oh. but hot. Oh, hot. hot. <laughs> cool. That's exactly what I imagined. Mmm. <laughs> Dude, that is really good. I'm not gonna lie. I didn't even want to. All right, let's try the chick fil
The pickle's a nice touch, though. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. See, this is Ryan style, and Ryan, I don't do any The pickle's pickles. a nice touch. But you know what? I you think this one? wins. I think this is going to take it, for sure. The uh, fish fillet. Fish fillet takes right. it for me. Yeah. One for fish fillet. One yes. for fish fillet. There's uh, one. And your videos really helped me out a lot. Thank you. Oh, I really appreciate that. Super supportive. That's awesome. Really Thank you so much. This is the one right here, top shelf. <laughs> this is the one. I've seen this all the time on YouTube. I gotta try it. <laughs> I have to bring him some candy. Oh no. Bro, thank you so much. Yeah. Oh yeah, that sauce is killer. Ooh. So this is the recipe. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what, is it winners though? Is it winners? Mm -hmm. oh. oh yeah. It's the one I have a little plastic in because you're not playing by the rules. Oh, yeah. I'm not playing by the rules. <laughs> you're the shark guy. Look at that. Sweet. 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 Well, we're going to get ready to go. Yeah. What's what? It's one of them. Yeah. Bro, my one. That's one. Yeah. You gotta give it to the fish for this one. Yeah? Yep. There's yep. another All one. Day. All day. Bro, any day. <laughs> and you just had one, yeah? Yes, sir. There's another one. All right. Oh. Get in there, bro. Get in there. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> What's up? Oh, Kyle. Hey, Ty, how are you? Ty? Ty. Ty or Ty? Ty. 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 Oh, okay. He's such a big <laughs> Look at this! <laughs> how cool is this? Come here, guys. <laughs> oh my gosh. I brought you some swag. I own oh, a food man. truck here on Maui. Okay. So, so next time you're here, come check me out. I love the stickers. Yeah. <laughs> this is yeah. Thank Just you so check much. Check us out on Instagram oh, and stuff. Yeah. Nice. Sick. Check that out. Yeah. 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 Thing of beauty right there. Is this Sam's special sauce right here? Sam's special sauce. <laughs> Some of them are hot. Grab that one. I don't think that one's hot. Yeah. You can tell. All right. Yeah. All right, baby. All right, come look at the camera. Oh, she's shy. Yeah. Mm. Oh my God, she got the sauce. The baby loves it. Everybody loves it. So good. After passing out 75 fish sandwiches, it was unanimous that we all preferred the fish fillet, but not for the reasons you might think. We appreciate it for what goes into the hunt and how sharing your catch with the community brings people together. And that's just not something you can get from a store-bought sandwich. So after serving 75 Chick-fil-A sandwiches, I walked up there, I was like, you know, I flew all the way from Big Island, Time to go get one for myself. We're done. We're done serving for the night. It's 8.30. Here's a free breakfast card on us. That is not very Chick-fil-A like. I think, I know they're new here, but this is not really how this works, Chick-fil-A. Where I'm from, Florida Chick-fil-A would never fly.